welcome here to the collection and we've just unveiled, you guessed it, our newest car, our newest addition to the collection, a 2023 Maserati MC20 Celio. So we're gonna go through a couple different things on it. The price, the exterior, the drop top, uh, what kind of wheels are on this, the engine, along with the transmission, as well as the paint. And then we're gonna step outside to go through the interior. So let's get to it. So what does this cost? So it may seem a little high, but keep in mind this has every option you can put inside this car. This was 355 at sticker. So don't get sticker shot, but it does have everything inside of it. And we're gonna cover that right now. One of the most expensive options on the car at a whopping $29,000 is the carbon fiber exterior. Everything you see around this car is carbon fiber from the splitter to the spoiler and the rear diffuser in the back, as well as along the sides of the dihedral doors, which are also your beautiful butterfly doors. So that carbon fiber exterior, while expensive, also reduces the weight and generates a lot more downforce in the car. So when you're tracking it, you're getting just what you need. Also something I wanna mention on this is when you pop the front or the hood here, it's all in that nice forged carbon, very lightweight. Um, something you should absolutely look at if you're gonna get yourself an MC20. What else is interesting about this car? This is the first year they've dropped, done the drop top variation, which is essentially why it's called the Celia, because it's a drop top. The color is called yellow, yellow that's how they say it in italian but it is absolutely beautiful i think this is one of the prettiest cars in the collection as far as the wheels are concerned they're 20 inch birdcage rims which i gotta say at first i didn't like them they've kind of grown on me pretty well uh, i do like the rims i like that black over yellow look i think it's something that's very sexy very nice looking and ultimately they, they're pretty easy to clean so far i've got down and had to clean them once but let's move on to the engine because that's what most people want to know about on this car what type of engine is a v6 3.0, 3 liter displacement, and it's twin turbocharged. And one of the interesting things about this, never been a big V6 fan, but the way this car picks up and the way it sounds, it's cusping on the edge of a V8. It is extremely powerful. It is extremely good on the top end. Doesn't get that great attraction off the line. It's got 305s, I think should have come stock or standard with 315s, but in the future, obviously you can put those on. But overall, the car from a, a drive and handling capacity, it's definitely up there with Porsche. They've done an extremely nice job on this. Very happy with the way this car handles, and it's, it's actually it's production to speed with those twin turbos. Finally, just to touch on the outside from the last piece is the paint job. It is a triple layer paint, and one of the most beautiful things about this is the amount of iridescent that's just running through this. As the lights hit this, that iridescent just really pops. It's something hard to get on camera. You actually kind of got to see it in real life. But, uh, but this car is, from a paint perspective, the only other car that I see that matches it, to be frank, is the 96 Mystique Cobra with its chameleon paint job. This thing is, is absolutely flawless. So step with me as we go outside and go through the interior of this car. I think you're really going to love what you see. What's up guys, and we here inside the brand new 2023 MC20 Celio, and we even got the top dropped on this beautifully cold night. One of my favorite things about the internals of this car is I like the way it feels. I'm nice and snug inside the seat. It feels very comfortable, almost reminds me of the 911 Porsche. So the way they designed it is really all about the driver. Unlike a Lamborghini, the visuals on this is very good. So you're, you're, the way you see out the windshields, it's not terrible. now. The rear window is obviously a little bad, but from the front perspective, front drive perspective, it's absolutely great. I also love all the different splashes of carbon fiber they put throughout the car. It's almost everywhere you look. One of my favorite things inside of here is the ability to quickly shift between GT, wet, Corsa modes. Obviously giving them more power when you go into Corsa. 
I also like the layout that they did on the steering wheel. Being able to push the car very easily and, and basically use the lift system is something that the other cars need to take heed and look at because the, the layout on this is very, very user friendly as well as the launch control button. So that launch control button is right in front of your face. So if you wanna launch this car, fantastic. There it is, you push, push the button and off to the race as you go. Which goes to say that you still need a little bit bigger tires because you will literally just sit there and spin them if you're not careful. Another feature inside of here that I think is really good is I actually think the seats are very comfortable. They're not big man approved, but they're definitely comfortable seats and I like the way it contours the body. And overall, the design package they did inside of here, I, I give it a, a nine out of 10, frankly. Not a big fan of the media screen. I think it's a little awkward. It's almost like a old school tablet or something. The response times on it and everything is good, but in general, I think they could have made this a little bit larger. That's my personal opinion. The last thing I'll touch on here, now we're inside the car obviously cruising around and the, the sound of this car is almost that of a V8. It's not quite a V8, but it's pretty darn good. So here in about two seconds, I'm gonna give it a nice kick for you and I'm gonna be quiet so you can pick up the induction sounds and the beautiful sound of the V6. And here we go, I'm in paddle shift mode. Ooh, does that feel good? Wow, man, I tell you what, that's, that's exhilarating. And that's only going up to second gear. Now you can keep working your way all the, through, all the way through these gears up to eight grand. So we will catch you guys back in the garage for the final summary of what we think about this beautiful car now in our collection. At the end of the day, it's not all just about money. It's about how much you enjoy the thrill of the car. And this is something you will definitely enjoy, something you should enjoy, and something you can frankly just take out for a cruise. So guys, make sure you check us on the next one because we got something back here that's pretty neat that you can see the top of. It is a big car, but it is extremely fast. And I can promise you one thing, it is definitely American made. So guys, keep it in overdrive. We'll catch you on the next video.